Now, here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from KSHB 41 News. I'm Kate Lickadu with KSHB 41 News. Here are your headlines. One person is likely dead after a trench collapse in Grain Valley. The Central Jackson County Fire Protection District is working to recover the body. They worked for nearly half an hour to free the worker, but it has now switched to a recovery effort. The collapse happened at a home under construction on Southwest Hillside Drive. We don't have any information about the victim at this time. COVID-19 is spreading rapidly across the United States, and experts say the majority of the new cases are caused by the highly contagious Omicron variant. Overnight, we saw a record broken for daily average of new cases. That now exceeds more than a quarter of a million new cases each day in the country. There are new concerns that at-home rapid tests don't detect the Omicron variant very well. Experts instead recommend getting a PCR test if possible. They do say the at-home tests are okay if that's your only option. Chiefs head coach Andy Reid announced today all players on the active roster who were previously on the COVID-19 list have been cleared. The newly cleared players were able to practice with the team today. Last week, several star players landed on the list and missed the game against the Steelers. That included tight end Travis Kelsey and kicker Harrison Butker. Now here's Gary with the forecast. All right, Kate, they were looking at an area of snow that tracked across northwest Missouri. Maybe just a few snowflakes did make the ground, though. Now... And we have a stronger, much stronger storm approaching us, which will be ending Saturday night. As it does, three inches of snow or more over a very wide swath, and some computer models have a lot more than this, and sleet and freezing rain down a little bit down farther to the south. This is a very fine line. We'll go over the details. We have a few more days to figure this one out. 41 tomorrow, 54 degrees Friday, 100% chance of that snow Saturday.